Well, hello everyone, and here I am with another Lego Star Wars Solo review, and this one is on Blotch's Landspeeder. So on the front of the box, see the logos, the new border that there is, is the recommended ages 8 through 12, set number 75210, and has 464 pieces, and all the many things included, and Disney logo. To the back, you see. It in another position, all the features of it, and the logos, and Star Wars website, and there. And on to the booklet. Oh, it's on the front of the booklet. Same picture as on the front of the box and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set. Add for Lego life. Add for the build of figures. Have for all the rest of the solo sets, or well, Spring Wave, and all the mini figs included with each one, and the last building steps. So, first of all, is, oh, it is the main mini fig of this set is Molotch. Molotch, Molotch, not sure how to say that, but. At least this one's torso printing is quite really good. Right, it has the staff piece of which with one of those like Bakabraki eye pieces, but in white, which is good. But like this new head piece looks really well sculpted. As you see, there's some like see like some good printings all around. And and there is from the back with this new kind of mini fig lore. Piece. Sorry. As you can see, which Barasafi in the Jedi Bout pack will have two. But at least same connection point as regular minifig links and everything. Which and doesn't fall off as easily, which of course is good. And that is it with my watch. And now to Rebolt. Not sure who this one is, but Leaves his torso printing quite nicely done, and also the face printing, and also reuse of that like half piece from a few other lines. It has the whip piece, and there he is from the back, and also a double side face. If it can focus, 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 okay. There it is from the back with a double side face. And you get two of the Corellian Hounds. Bullies. Which is just about like in the Han Solo Landspeeder set. With like good sculpting and good printing all around. Down to the main part of it is the land speeder itself. So this I think is quite well interesting, quite bulky and all. So on this side of it, as you see, there's a lot of good techniques with the curves and stuff. <clears throat> like as you can see, but also as you see, there's this thing that flips open and there's like like four studs in there so you can put the Corellian hounds in I'm not sure if how this will happen in the film but whatever and on the front part of it there's some good greebling details like some bars and the clear studs probably as lights and also a like little stud shooter and you can and on the other side of it there's some more like shaping with the curving and with this you can like and the wheel what the wheel is for is if you turn it it fires the sun shooter like so well it's a good like gear mechanism in it but on the top of it is has some good detailing and but at least good use of all the like plates but what's kind of interesting are these new jumper plates which attach to like uh, two by three and 
there's two on top. Kind of inter quite neat. Might be helpful for mocking. And on the back of which, you can see that there's some like good making of the engines, like some good snot techniques all around. But but like wonder why these and like why are the engines in orange? But in the trailers, they looked more blue. Maybe they would be orange in the film. We'll just have to wait and see. <clears throat> and as on this little door thing, there's a little hook to put Malach's staff on to. Let me flip it open and then take out this little thing for some little rack with a couple of bones and something for the Corellian hounds to have. <clears throat> and look at from the bottom. It's a couple of the like small wheels there, just like what Han Solo's Lance Beater also had. But at least it could have used large clear ones like they did in the last couple of years. And so the main cockpit piece, which has like another one of those like jumper pieces in it. But at least enough space to put your Malach mini fig in there. Well, if standing up and all. <clears throat> so now on to with a little comparison. Which, like here's the first order snow speeder from 2015. I see. This is 40. This was 40. And from the top view is, you can see it's quite a little bit smaller than it, but they have kind of, but it has a few more pieces than that. But at least I think this was kind of bit better for the price, like a little larger and all. Maybe it's, you know, probably because of all oil and everything. If you get the Han Solo land speeder set, then you got the like good little chase scene from the movie in the train and everything. And like a part of that is at least it's a good at least it's ten dollars more than that one and at least they have some good size difference. So now on to a, the final verdict. So my overall verdict is I think this is real pretty good set. Yeah, pretty good set it is. At least. Like why 40? But at least it's a good 40 price tag. And, and also, like there's only two actual minifigs, like not counting the Corallian Hounds, like, I think some more could have been accounted for, like, a range trooper or another Imperial Patrol trooper or something. But whatever, it is what it is. And if you're looking to pick this up, then go ahead and get it. And, and if you want to have the Han Solo Landspeeder one, or if you want to get this with that one, then go ahead and pick this up. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.